Hi everyone and welcome to the 2022 Pootlers Celebration video hop. My name's Alison from the L'Atelier d'Alison and for those of you who don't know me or those for those of you who do but are curious to know why I have a French business name, two simple reasons. I moved to France 18 years ago so it seemed logical that I have a French business name and the second reason is simply because L'Atelier d'Alison Sounds a bit more classy than the English translation, which is Alison's Workshop. So normally um, I do a video every Sunday on my channel and I usually do it in English and French to cater for both markets, seeing as I live in France. Um, this one I'm only going to do in English, so if you'll just bear with me a moment while I speak to my French friends. Donc euh, bonjour mes amis français, euh, juste une petite euh, explication, normalement comme tu savais je fais mes, euh, mes vidéos en anglais et français mais aujourd'hui parce que c'est un truc spécial pour notre équipe, euh, je, je fais cette vidéo juste en anglais mais par contre je promets que je le... soit je le... Ajoute les sous-titres en français plus tard ou je le fais une autre vidéo en français juste pour vous. Donc, merci pour votre compréhension et je veux euh, euh, faire quelque chose très vite. Ok, sorry about that. A little interruption there. Just to explain to my French um, friends and viewers that I will um, later either add French subtitles and or do another video in French for them because usually I do my videos in English and French but as this is a Pootler's um, blog hop I'm only doing this one in English. Okay so all explanations aside let's get down to business. As I say this video is to showcase um, items from the celebration catalogue which goes from 4th January to 28th February and I have decided to use the friendly hello um, bundle which you can get for a um, 90 pound or 120 euro purchase um, as you can see this one's in French but as I say the English friendly hello so those of you who maybe watched my video uh, last week, you will see I use the um, stamp set to make these little note cards. Oops, get them around the right way. Note cards. Um, really easy to do, ideal for a beginner, and that's not today's project. But it will be useful, so if you haven't seen the video yet, why not? And if not, head over to my ch my channel and you can see the tutorial on that. So today I am going to make a box to put these in. So, I haven't got one to show you because I haven't made one up yet. So it's all going to be a bit of a trial and error thing. So if you bear with me, then we will get going. So first thing, you need a piece of cardstock which measures uh, 11 and a quarter by 5 and 3 quarters which is 28.5 by 14.5 and a piece of DSP which measures uh, 6 and a quarter by 5 and 3 quarters so with the card stock we are going to score at uh, two inches, three inches, eight and a quarter, and nine and a quarter, which is five, seven point five, twenty one, and twenty three point five centimeters. On the short side, we're going to score at one inch and four and three quarters which is 2.5 and 12 centimeters so on the with the DSP 
on the long side, the six and a quarter inch side, we are going to score at one inch and on the short side we're going to score at and that's 2.5 centimeters sorry short side we're going to score at one inch and four and three quarters which is 2.5 and 12 centimeters okay so what we need to do now is score and burnish. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to do a bit of trimming. So the first rectangle here we don't need, so we're going to cut that away completely. And just wedge the square. So this one we're going to wedge the square. And we're going to keep this rectangle. So we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So, the end, um, no, this end. this end where we've got the two flaps, we're going to round the corners. Like so. Then... adhesive on the tabs Oops. okay it's not going to play so I'll use a bit of tear and tape don't know why but there are certain card stocks that the seal plus doesn't seem to like round to form our box like so and this side is going to tuck in and then this side we're going to put the lid so what we need to do with our DSP again we're going to Okay, I'm gonna 
bring the edges together like so and this is going to go over like so so I'll put tear and tape I won't risk the seal so strip there strip there That's our lid, which opens like so. And again, I've got my punch. So I'm going to use my little circle, just put a little thumb so it's easy to open. So that's the box for the decoration. So I've cut out using the Stitch So Sweetly dies a um, white. So this matches on the cards. So Flowers like so. Like so. Place that in the middle. There we go that's our box finished so as i say you can take your cards uh, i've got four here with envelopes which fit in there there's room for more if you want to put more in there and there you go so nice little box with some note cards i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to click on the description box and there'll be all the links to all the other videos which are taking part in the blog hop and um, go along have a look at their projects which are absolutely amazing and until next time thanks a lot for watching if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I'd love to have you aboard so give me a um, thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you again very soon take care bye